I don't really know why, but then again, I do, and I'm getting ready to tell you. Jam motherfucking day, present day, jam motherfucking day, present day, jam motherfucking day, present day, jam motherfucking day, present day. Hello, poppets. How's everybody doing today? I hope you're doing well. Please excuse. Anything that you may see abnormal here besides the regular abnormalities ab ab that because my sinuses and my allergies are kicking my ass. It rained here all week and um yeah, there is something in my eye. No, it's not. That's just allergies. Anyway, guys, follow me on Twitter where you can see more rambling. I got some comments on my last video or two videos that I look sad and that I look tired. Thank you. I want to thank you very much for pointing that out. Um, I'm not sad. I just have allergies and sinus problems and I haven't been feeling well. Honest to God, I didn't even want to film this video, but I'm here and I'm doing it. Did I mention that I love you? Cause I do. Thanks for watching my videos guys. In the video with my mom and dad, if you didn't see it, you know, here's a clip. Go ahead. No, it's not even for me to go ahead because whatever I say is going to be wrong. No, I'm so you... be quiet now. No, <laughs> you be quiet. <laughs> the way in hell. In that video when my dad brought up the part about when I went to Texas to see someone that I had met on the internet, a lot of people asked about that and sh I don't mind sharing this story. So here you go. I met a guy on the internet from Texas and he was a fucking dick. That's about it. Okay, thanks. Thanks for watching. Gotta go. I'm just kidding. I'll, I'll tell the story. I am a social media holic. I love the internet. I've been on the internet since the fucking internet began. Uh, pretty much. I remember growing up and my very best friend growing up, her name was Carol, and her mom taught school. And I remember one Saturday her mom had to get some work done at school, so she took Carol and I with her to school and we got to go sit in the computer lab. Now you have to understand by computer lab, like back then, computers were pretty big deal, like not a lot of people had them. And I just remember going into the computer lab this had to have been around like 1984 i might have been like 11 years old and i remember using the computer and just being like honest to god just fascinated beyond the spectrum of fascination with this computer i remember just being like this is a whole different world this is this is so different than what I'm used to. There's like so much more out in the universe than this tiny little town I live in. And that was before the internet. I was just really excited about a fucking dot matrix printer and who, who even knows what it was I was doing on there. But I loved it. I was just, I was so just hooked from the very beginning. And the internet came out um, around the time that I was in nursing school. I remember in nursing school we had well, like one computer that you could get on the internet with and they were like really strict about what you could get on the internet with. Which is funny because I remember the very first website I went to was Hillary's Hair. I think it was called Hillary'sHair.com but I'm not really sure. I tried to look it up the other day because I was like oh my god remember that website? And I went to look it up and I couldn't find it. But it was an actual website that was like dedicated to Hillary Clinton hair. You know the media just loves to focus on all the wrong things and Hillary was always changing her hair and she got a lot of bullshit from people about her hair and I just remember there was a website dedicated to Hillary's hair and I think that was like the very first website I ever went to and I remember going to it and then worrying that I was going to get in trouble for going to Hillary'sHair.com. Once I graduated nursing school and had my own place, I had a friend who could build computers. This all makes me sound like I'm so very old but it, it's true. He could build computers from like old pieces and parts and he built me my very first computer that I could use to get on the internet. But if you don't know what dial-up internet is, you are missing out. And by missing out, I mean that you aren't missing a motherfucking thing. You had to hook that damn computer into the wall with a phone jack. You had to actually dial into the internet and it would make this god-awful sound. And then you would get on the internet and get kicked off 400 times while you were trying to do whatever task it was that you were trying to do. It was really great fun, guys, and you're, you're missing out. I've been on the internet since the days of dial-up. We didn't have all these social media sites back then. I mean, basically, the only thing we had was chat rooms. And I don't really remember how I got in this one particular chat room, 
but I've started spending time in this chat room and making friends with different people. Some of these people I am still friends with to this day and I'm talking 20 years ago. Well I remember that my name on the internet was Catwoman. I don't, even, I don't know why. I mean I had a cat but I mean okay. Very original Jen. I would go into this chat room all the time and talk to people and I mean I would go in there for like months. I spent a lot of time in this chat room. I started to notice that this one guy was like flirting with me all the time and his name was Pac-Man. <laughs> this is also stupid and embarrassing. Like I'm, uh, I'm pretty embarrassed that I'm telling this story but fuck it it's good for YouTube. It's a good YouTube story. We would like talk all the time and we kind of started flirting back and forth and and before I knew it, like I had a little crush on this guy and he seemed to have a crush on me because he was always flirting with me and everything. He was from Texas and you know, I'm from Virginia and sooner or later in this chat room, it kind of became that me and Pac-Man were a couple. <laughs> so stupid. So very, very stupid. It is what it is. It's the internet. What are you gonna do? It's so funny that like you can develop feelings for someone that you've never met. Like you literally don't know who they are. You only know a name on a screen. You only know what they're telling you and who knows if it's true or not. But I was 23 years old at the time and you couldn't talk sense into me. I know I look at 20 year olds, 23 year olds and I'm like, get your fucking shit together. That's really easy to say when I'm 42 and at 23 I could not get my shit together. I mean, I was a registered nurse. I had my own place and all that. But obviously, um, you will see from this story that I couldn't get my shit together. So as time went on, I've talked more and more to Pac-Man and we started talking about the idea of maybe me traveling to Texas to come spend like a long weekend with him and you know it just it just sounded like such a great idea to me I live in a small town I'd never really been anywhere at this point I had never flown anywhere by myself I don't think I had even flown anywhere since I had been like a small child it was like a big deal thinking about like getting on a plane going to Texas by myself it was insane but uh I planned to do it I made plans to do it <laughs> Our relationship progressed to where like we were talking on the phone a lot um, and it was often like a lot of late night phone calls that were like breathless and like oh just, this is so embarrassing. I really I fell for this guy or who I thought this guy was. This is why I have to warn you about the dangers of the internet. Don't do this. Don't try this at home kids. Don't don't do this. Don't do this. I'm telling you don't do it. We would talk on the phone and, and it got to where like I would go to work and all day long at work all I could think about was getting off of work and being able to get home and get on the computer and talk to Pac-Man. So Pac-Man one day he tells me about this other chat room that he likes to go to and this is where he fucked up because he actually like told me where the chat room was and I went and checked it out. I didn't really talk in that chat room a lot because it was really clicky which chat rooms get that way. I mean every app gets that way. I mean look at Vine for God's sake. It gets really clicky. So when I went to that chat room and tried to like talk to people and tried to talk to him, immediately I noticed some sort of weird vibe going in there. It was like people didn't like me and I was like I just got here like how do you already not like me? But it didn't take me long to figure out why. What I came to find out, which makes me even more stupid in this story because I feel like Jessie right now telling this story because she tells stories about her dating life and stuff and I'm just looking at her stories and I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Honestly, anybody who would have seen what I was doing would have been like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And my dad was right. I hate to say that, but he was right. Like this was just a crazy fucking story where people weren't very nice. And I remember I went into that chat room, it was a Friday afternoon, and I see this girl, let's just call her Piper. I have my Orange is the New Black book here, so let's just call her Piper. So I go to this chat room and I see Piper, who I had never spoken to, and there was another girl who was Piper's friend from the internet, and let's just call her Crazy Eyes. <laughs> Cause she is fucking crazy. She turned out, she turned out just be fucking crazy. But I see Piper and Crazy Eyes talking and they're talking about how Piper is getting ready to go get on a plane to go to Texas. And Crazy Eyes is just like, oh, I can't wait to see you, blah, blah, blah. And Piper's like, yeah, I'm just gonna be so exciting. Come to find out, like I'm not, it didn't take me but a few minutes to figure out that Piper was going to Texas to see Pac-Man. Now it made sense why the people in that chat room were kind of not very nice to me when I would come to that chat room. Because I didn't go there very often, but when I did, 
I would talk to Pac-Man and kind of flirt with him. But it turns out that Pac-Man had me in one chat room, like flirting with me, talking to me on the phone. And then in this other chat room, he had Piper. And he was like doing the same thing with her. And literally on this Friday, when I went to that chat room because I couldn't find him, she was getting ready to get on a plane to go to Texas to see him for the weekend. I was so fucking upset. I was so mad. I was so pissed. You would have thought that me and Pac-Man had been dating like seriously in person, in real life. That's how upset I was and I confronted him with it. And I remember that he was just like, what are you talking about? Like, this is the internet. Like, this is so stupid. Yes, yeah, she's coming here. So what? And I'm like, but we've been talking like every day and like even talking on the phone and stuff. And you know that I've been planning to come to Texas. So why, why are you doing this? I don't get it. But the story gets worse because I was a fucking 23 year old maniac idiot. <laughs> so when I knew she was in Texas, of course, you know, it wasn't enough to know that. I had to torture myself by like going to that chat room and seeing what everybody was talking about. And like the first night she was there, they were in the chat room. I mean, you're together, like why are you in the chat room? But we all know that when we get together, if you've met online and then you meet in real life, what do you do when you're together in real life? Majority of the time, y'all are like making videos together, you know, putting stuff on the internet, talking about how much fun you're having together. Well, that's what they were doing in the chat room. And I mean, I just, I was like torturing myself. I was looking at it and I was like, this is some fucked up shit, Jen. Like, you're a fucking idiot. But the degree of idiocy does not stop there in this story, unfortunately, as I keep saying. Well, the first night seemed to go well for them, and I was just like, you know, this sucks. Guess I'll go to sleep and wake up and torture myself bright and early tomorrow. And so the next day I got on there and of course everything was still going great for them and I continued to torture myself that day. But the next day I got online and lo and behold something terrible had happened between Piper and Pac-Man. Turns out that they had gone out to like a bar with like a bunch of other people from that chat room. Piper had dumped Pac-Man and had gone off with another guy. I don't even remember his name but I remember I was just like that's what your ass gets. What a shit show. <laughs> but it didn't stop there. Because what did I do? 23 year old Jen saw that as an opportunity to get back with Pac-Man. What? What's wrong with you, Jen? Like seriously, what the fuck is wrong with you? But really, honestly, I think the whole thing came down to is I had built this fantasy in my head that I was going to get on a plane and go somewhere for the very first time because I'd never done that before, as I said before. So I think that had a lot to do with it. Plus, I was just young and stupid and just wanted somebody to love me. And I started talking to him again because he was so hurt and he was so upset. And I mean, really, she shouldn't have treated him that way and I'm an idiot. So I started talking to him again. Sure did. Talked to him for a few months. Every day I would go to work. I would get home. I would run up my stairs to my computer and I would turn my computer on which would take about 20 minutes to boot up and then I would dial into the internet and I would sit there and wait and wait and wait for the internet to work and I would get in the chat room and or I would get on that little private messenger thing. It was called ICQ back then. <laughs> so stupid. It was a little messenger thing, you know, and I would use that and we would talk. Well, sure enough, the idiocy doesn't stop there because what did Jen do? Jen actually did follow through with her plan to go to Texas. I actually got on a plane and flew to Texas and spent the weekend with this guy. And what do you know? This guy was nothing like he presented himself on the internet. He wasn't mean to me while I was there. I mean, he took me out. He paid for everything. Not that like I have to have somebody pay for stuff. I'm a registered nurse. I was a registered nurse at 23 years old, making more money than him probably. But what I'm trying to say is he took me out. He took me out to eat. He took me out like for drinks and dancing and all this stuff. We had a great time. I mean, it really wasn't that bad, but still he was not really the person that he portrayed himself as online. He was like a lot shorter than what I thought he was going to be. Um, he really wasn't that good looking as opposed to the pictures that he had sent me online. And so all of this just comes back to Jen as an idiot. Please don't do this. 
please, please, please learn from me. Don't do this. But I was lucky nothing bad happened to me and I had a good time, just like I said in the video with my mom and dad. She it was, flies there, we're worried, are just worried to death about her. I had a good time though. I did, I had a good time. The thing is, and I'm not exaggerating when I say this, the moment I left Texas, dude stopped talking to me. The moment I got on the plane and came back to Virginia, dude stopped talking to me. This is somebody that I would talk to like every day, many, many hours in a chat room or on this private messenger. This is somebody that would call me and we would talk on the phone. And then all of a sudden, the minute I got home, he wasn't in the chat room anymore. He didn't call me anymore. When I called him, he didn't answer. One night, I went out with all of my friends and we were drinking and dancing. I wasn't driving, we had a DD. I remember I got like really drunk and I remember I called Pac-Man and he did answer the phone and I just remember being like, look, what is going on? And him being like, what do you mean? You know what I mean. Like, you haven't been in the chat room. You haven't been calling me. When I call you, you don't answer. You don't call me back. What's going on? And in the typical fashion of someone who has used another person, he just wouldn't answer me directly. He's just like, well, you know what I mean? Uh, you live so far away, like you're in Virginia, I'm in Texas. And this was before cell phones and like, you used to have to pay for like long distance phone call. He's like, well, it's just running my phone bill up. And I'm like, yeah, but all of that was true before I came to Texas. So how has that changed anything that's going on now? And I was like, tell me what is going on. He's like, oh, I don't know. I was like, okay, I need you to tell me. I do not think of you that way anymore. That's all I need to hear from you. And he's like, Okay, I don't think of you that way anymore. Well, you would have thought that like a fucking bomb dropped on my house. I was like, what do you mean? Yeah, I came all the way to Texas and uh, Like a fucking idiot. Just a 23 year old baby fucking idiot. Jen, you dumbass. That's basically the story of the guy in Texas. It took me a little while to get over him. So stupid, but side note, Piper, the girl that had gone to Texas to see him that I didn't know about and then I found out about. It turns out that she was a really nice girl and we ended up talking and this was in 1997 I believe and we are still friends. As a matter of fact she picked the word to go on my wrist that I got several years ago. So I guess there's a silver lining to this story. Oh also this is so funny. If you don't know, I work for Project Consent and I was writing a story the other day that was like based in Texas and the name of the county like clicked in my head and I was like, damn, I think that's like where, where Pac-Man was from. Something just told me like, Google him and just see like what's he up to these days. Like who the fuck is he like fucking over nowadays? So I Googled him and sure enough, I found his mugshot where he had been arrested for domestic violence against his wife. So I lucked out on that one, didn't I? You fucking idiot, dumb ass bitch. I'm sorry, mom and dad. I'm sorry I put you through that stress. But I guess, you know, if that's the only thing I did, I did pretty good. Yeah, that was pretty, that was pretty bad. I think if one of my kids did that, I'd fucking have a nervous breakdown. Stupid, that's me. Anyway, guys, that's the story about the Jack Hole from Texas. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks mom and dad for bringing that up. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do videos every Tuesday and Saturday. I'm trying to get to where I do them three days a week, but it is a lot of work. No matter what people say about content creators on the internet, it's a lot of work. So I hope you all have a great day and please come back next time for my next video. I will see you soon. Have a great day. Bye! Explain the shit magnet theory. Oh, you and I are shit magnets. I mean, it, it, we could, I mean, really, we could be in a clear lake, and if one son of a bitch jumps in that Texas damn dump, it's gonna, it's gonna float over to us. <laughs> <laughs>